First off, let's start by opening the PIMCore dashboard. Make sure that you're viewing your dashboard in either a default or CMS perspective. Otherwise, you won't be able to access PIMCore's personalization options. Now, on the left sidebar, you'll need to click on Marketing, click on Personalization Targeting, and here you can choose from three different options, but for now, we'll first define our target groups. Here we'll add a new target group and we can choose whatever name we want for it. We create these target groups so we can be more accurate when delivering content to our visitors. Every visitor will, have an, will eventually become a part of one or more target groups and we'll de deliver them content tailored to their needs and wants. Now, when creating a target group, we can define the name and the description of the target group, activate or deactivate it, and define a threshold. We can define the threshold as a quantitative limit for a specific target group. I'll come back to that in a few minutes. Now when we have ready our target group, we can create a global targeting rule that will make sure that visitors who follow that rule end up becoming a part of our target group. Once more, uh, on the left sidebar, click on marketing and hover your mouse over personalization marketing. And click on global targeting rules. You can see that there are already several global targeting rules created but let's create another one that will work great with our target group. Click on add and name your new targeting rule and we can begin. Here we have three different tabs, settings, conditions and actions. But let's talk about settings first. In settings you can define the name and descri description of your targeting rule, activate it and define its action scope. Action scope is a new setting that defines how actions are executed. Every action scope is unique and meant for use in specific situations. Here's a quick explanation of what do they represent. Hit represents actions executed on every user request. Session represents actions executed per each session. Session with variables represents actions executed per each session in which visitor information is changed. For example, if a visitor gets assigned to another target group. And finally, visitor represents actions executed once per visitor. We can choose whatever action scope we want, but for this occasion, let's go with hit as our action scope. Next are conditions. By configuring the conditions, we are defining the situation in which our new targeting rule can be executed. There are 16 different conditions we can choose from and you can feel free to combine them to achieve the desired effect. Also, you can use the AND, OR and AND NOT operators to create more complex conditions for your targeting rule you'll be able to build up pretty much any kind of condition for your rule but I'll keep it simple and go with three basic conditions. I, I'll configure the time and site, URL and operating system conditions for this rule. So I'll set the time on site to 10 seconds. I'll choose a URL for our, for our, our rule and I'll set the operating system to Mac OS. In short, this means that if a visitor uses Mac OS to visit this certain page and browses through it for at least 10 seconds, this visitor will fulfill all of the conditions of this targeting rule. If the visitor fulfills these conditions, a certain action will be executed and now it's time to define that action. So there are six different actions to choose from, such as redirect, assign target group, send mail, and so on. 
but for this example let's pick the assigned target group here we can define this section to be a bit more complex and complete first we need to select the target group in which we want to assign our visitor after that we need to define weight the weight setting is a novelty and I'll explain it further when defining actions in global targeting rules you'll always need to assign a certain number to the weight setting when configuring the assign target group action we can define weight as the quantitative impact of an action defined by a global targeting rule threshold a setting we mentioned earlier when defining our target group is connected to this weight setting when creating our test group we've defined the threshold to be 3 and when creating our targeting rule we have defined the weight of the action to be 1 that means that this action needs to be executed 3 times for a visitor to be assigned to our target group we can also connect a certain customer segment to this we can also connect a certain customer uh, segment uh, to this section meaning that if a logged in customer fulfills these conditions they become a part of a new customer segment but more on that later we can choose the, to enable tracking of customer activity to logged in customer and also enable the consideration of profile and consent which should really be enabled and finally after we've done all that it's time to hit save there is another way of assigning visitors to a target group and it's a bit easier than this one honestly so let's see what that's about on the left side of your PIMCOR dashboard click on documents now we need to find a certain document to go with uh, for this example after choosing a document we'll need to click on SEO and settings you'll immediately see the assign target group section here we need to choose our newly created target group and click on save and publish located in the, in the top left corner by doing this we've assigned the target group to this document simple as that and now every time a visitor visits this specific page their assignment count rises by one now to define the assignment count simply said the assignment count is the quantity of assigning a tar target group to a visitor quick example when we were creating our target group we defined the threshold for our target group to be 3 this means that our visitors need to visit this specific page 3 times in order to be assigned to our newly created target group the assignment count is connected to the weight setting the one we defined when choosing the actions for our targeting rule for instance if we define weight for the action in our targeting rule to be 5 and our visitors fulfill all of the conditions their assignment count will increase by 5 so there's the difference between these two ways of assigning a visitor to a target group now how to create personalized content and deliver that content to those target groups first we need to open a document we want to personalize next click on the small icon in the lower left corner here you'll need to choose for which target group you want to personalize content for the name of your target group will appear above the icon and now we're ready if you click on the yellow light bulb in the upper left corner you'll see which elements of the page are editable now I'll just add a few changes to the page to make sure that we can apply these changes right click on the element you want to edit and click on or overwrite
after we've made our changes all we need to do is click on save and publish and that's it the next time visitors that belong to our newly created target group visit this page they'll see a personalized version of this page reflecting their interests now let's talk more about customer automation rules they're a bit different than the global targeting rules global targeting rules mainly apply to visitors uh, be they reg registered or unregistered users while on the other hand customer automation rules apply only to registered users so let's see how we can use the customer automation rules on the left side of your PIMCOR dashboard click on the customer management framework and click on customer automation rules now you'll see something similar to when we were configuring the global targeting rules so let's go step by step in the settings tab you can configure the name and the description of a customer automation rule and activate it or deactivate it next we'll move on, move on to the tab triggers here we are going to define what kind of action is going to trigger this customer automation rule. There are five different triggers to choose from and you can also combine them as you see fit. Keep in mind that there are no AND, OR and AND NOT operators here. Let's choose a simple trigger for our rule, new, cast, new customer activity. We can configure it a bit more and select the type of the customer activity we'll set it to customer order that means that the next time a customer completes an order it will trigger this rule and the conditions will be taken into account if a customer doesn't trigger this rule the action won't be executed even if the conditions are fulfilled next we'll set the conditions for our rule we can choose between six different conditions and combine them as we see fit also you can use the AND, OR and AND NOT operators to create more complex conditions for this customer automation rule. For this example we'll use a simple condition, activities count of type X. We'll set the type of customer activity to customer order and we'll configure it to be done if the count is equal or bigger than 5. If our customer completes five or more orders, everything is set and the action we define will be executed. Now talking about defining that action, let's see what kind of action we, actions we can configure for this rule. There are five actions to choose from. Each one has a completely different purpose and there are certain triggers and conditions required to execute a certain action. So we'll go with a simple action and choose send mail. We can choose from already existing mails or create a new one and simply drag and drop it here. After that we'll click on save and that's it. We have successfully created the new customer automation rule. There's much more to talk about when discussing PIMCOR personalization and its customer management framework, but we'll leave that for another tutorial. Thank you for watching this tutorial and until next time.